G'day guys, Cam here from thefirstroom.co.nz and today we're going to be doing an unboxing slash a review of the Marina Net Breeder. Sounds pretty boring and it probably will be pretty boring but the reason I'm doing this and that's because I've had a wee spawn of Royal Whiptails. I actually don't have one of these open or on hand anywhere so I want to open one up, give you a bit of a review on it and see if I can spawn some Whiptails at the same time. Watch out. Marina Fishnet Breeder. Comes in pretty thin. Let's crank her open. One, two, three bits. Some netting. Pretty simple design, really. Didn't expect too much more, to be fair. And some pretty things. Okay, so we twist these around, so these hang on to the back of your aquarium. Twist them around, give them a bit of a bend. A bit looser now. These bad salves. Drop it in. like some crazy piece of machinery and the bottom goes on well the bottom line them all up assembly thus far has been very very easy push them all in and now we have our frame pretty simple really all right we need to put our netting around our frame, quite logical again, slam her in, get in there, what's not logical on my behalf is not having the cords or the strings at the back, so let's spin around, that makes more sense. Fiddly. I don't really do fiddly, but it's about the only downside I've found so far. Assembly has been simple. I like easy, simple stuff. Makes life easy and simple. Pull it all up and over. This would have taken half the time if I put the string at the back to start with, which I didn't. As you have all seen. One string, two string, so we get that up and around. And the instructions say tighten the string, so I give it a pull. So I am not. Again, a little bit fiddly, but it's not that bad. <laughs> ah, tie a knot, you tie a knot. Done. Pretty simple, really. And now we've got our net breeder all sorted. Oh no! Oh no, we've broken him! Broken him. Let's go back on. Ah, oh, it's alright. Goes back on. Assembly is very quick. It's less than five minutes. It's very basic. Should do its job. Too easy. That is the Marina net breeder. Just like that. So now I guess I'm going to chuck them in here. Or am I? I 
Okay, so it fits. I had the thought that I might have to um, put up my sump, but that should be okay. Yep, breeder. There. Oops. For these guys here. Alright, so I'm going to try and scrape the eggs off the side of this. I'm probably going to try and use a F post card or credit card or something along those lines. I think they might be the best option, kind of like... Um, I wonder if I can roll them off my finger. No, I've got a fat sausage of fingers. I'm going to try and use a card first. Alright, let's see how we go. So I need to find my wallet, which is never ever easy, because God knows where I put it, so this might take some time. But in the magic of editing videos, everything should be okay, and you probably didn't even need to see this bit here. Oh well. Alright, and goes the hand. Get my Mr. Whiptail. Get out of it, angels. Try and be gentle. Holy heck, they're sticky. Sticky, icky, icky. Ooh wee. All right. Go away, angels. I've successfully. Hey, see how sticky they are. All right. Excuse me, Mr. Webtail. We'll get your next lot. Oh, lost a couple. Oh, lost a couple. Sorry for the poor camera work. I was looking at what I was doing, not what was on the screen. Okay, they're in there. Straight to here. So now we've got them in there. Hopefully, there is enough water flow going through them to keep them from going moldy and gross. I'm sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to take your family away. Well, I did actually. Fingers crossed I do a better job than raising them than what you did last time around. Abandon her. Anyway. So there they are. This is day one. They've just been put in here. They were spawned overnight, so a couple more days, and hopefully we get a few whiptails. I might try and put a few roots to the old Indian fern underneath it, which might stop some of the fish going up and under it. There we go. So, first job of the net breeder is to hold eggs or fry. This is holding eggs fine. They ain't coming out. Job done for the net breeder. Okay, so this has been up and going now for about two weeks. The only downside that I've had so far is that these little poles seem to come out fairly regularly. Could however be because I've got uh, a couple of bits of wood in here. So I'm not 100% certain whether that is um, just being a poor design and there's a little bit of silicon or something like that in them. Because if you put silicon in them, then you're going to struggle to pull it apart when you need to pull it apart. Um, or if it's just there's a little bit of extra weight and that's sort of pulling everything down a touch. So I'm not sure. But that so far is the only downside that I've found to these things. They definitely work. Holding my fry fine. Um, they're cheap. They're effective, they're easy to put together. Overall, i uh, probably give it a seven and a half, eight mark out of 10. Um, the fact that they drop off a little bit is a little bit frustrating. That's probably the only reason I don't go a little bit higher, but like I said, I'm not sure if it's because I've got wood in there or not. And they seem to clog up a little bit as well. So I'm sort of quite often having to shake it up a little bit to try and get a bit of the stuff coming out. But that's about the only downside I've got. Other than that, they're definitely doing what they need to do. So I'm happy with it overall.